what I uh, read. And also because uh, we, we can't uh, uh, expertise the, what, what I say here. Because uh, you must imagine to be in a forest. Okay? Today we are in a room. But I hope that uh, to, to, to meet you in other occasions, perhaps in Italy, in, uh, in our town, in Fermo, for, it, for uh, making the experience of Forest Batman. So, uh, I'll tell you something about Forest Batman, this uh, uh, new discipline. But I want to start with this song. La madre terra con frutti, prati e fiori, il fuoco, il vento, l'aria e l'acqua. This is music uh, is inspired to San Francisco of Assisi. The same that is loved uh, in, from a lot of people in the world because it's a sort of protector of nature, of animals, trees, anything that we can call nature. Uh, the meaning of the words that I say to you is uh, in English, mother of earth, with fruits, needles and flowers, the fire, the wind, pure air and water is a name for the nature. Okay. Um, San Francesco is the saint that speaks to the wolves, that uh, teases the wolves. It's not like St. George that kills a dragon. There are saints in the Christianity that don't kill the beasts, but prefer to speak with them. San Francesco, for example, but also Santa Vittoria. You know Santa Vittoria is a saint that uh, uh, has spoken with the dragon, not as killed the dragon. Uh, the dragon often is uh, considered the evil uh, symbol, a personification of the devil, but perhaps it's only the personification of what we don't know. Um, so this introduction for giving you evaluation about the experience that is something based on science, but also in a personal journey made uh, on self-reflection, inspiration, meditation, Reconnection, something that talks, uh, something deep inside us. It's not the simplification of hugging the tree, you know, not the hugging the tree, but uh, it, this is not a, a, a negative gesture, obviously, but uh, can be interpreted like a new age formula, and this is not good for the people that uh, practice this uh, discipline seriously. So, there is a long tradition about the sacrality of the trees in every culture, I think to the American natives. This is a poem of Tatanga Mani that tells this. Uh, Do you know that trees speak? They talk to each other. They talk to each other and they talk to you if you listen to them. But white men do listen. They never thought it was good to listen to us Indians and I'm afraid they won't listen to the other voices of nature either. I myself have learned a lot from trees, something about time, something about animals, sometimes something about the great spirit. But also in the Christianity, even if uh, with many contradiction, because the apple tree is the place in which is allocated the temptation of the devil, and the forest the place where witches hide, and where the pagan make their sacred rituals. So, also in the Christianity, we find the example of the sacrality of trees. The palm, that is a blessed tree, because it gave a relief to the Holy Virgin during the flight into Egypt. The sacrus is present in the Marian iconography. The pomegranate fruit is often in the hands of the Virgin as a symbol of prosperity, but is also a symbol in the uh, Muslim religion, the pomegranate. So this is the tree sacrality. But I said before also science. Science because the forest produces monoterpene, that is a benefic volatile substance in the process of photosynthesis. 
and the recent studies have highlighted at a scientific level their important role in stimulating the human immune system. So, spending more time in the forest allows you to better manage stressful situation and recover energy. You can feel better. And I can witness this. It's not simple to explain what means forest battling. It's something that you must experience directly. Telling it not the same, but I try to do. Firewall is a recent discipline, but a lot of people are involved in this practice, often with improvisation. There are a lot of associations that promote and sell this now. I'm a practic practitioner that is learning, but for learning it's necessary to make practice because, as I said before, it's a new discipline with a lot of masters, two masters. There is not the only certificate discipline that dictates the rules, but I work for the National Park of Sydney Mountains as press office, and uh, this is a great job experience for me, and the park is uh, working for making this experience of use of the forest as serious as possible. Forest park is a practice that can really <coughs> represent an extra opportunity for the park to capture a large audience of visitors but aware of the respect that nature deserves. Another experience of tourism that can be added to the many proposals already available in the park, hopefully with the help of a university. Now, how the forest that works? First thing is choose a wood a forest, a green space. You can also choose a urban garden a human park for making this experience, but it's not a better place in which you can operate for the rumors of the normal human activity. But if you find a place in which the contamination is not elevated, you can proceed. For example, a school park, a school garden, because the practice is also good for children. You have to tell the story of that place. It's important to know where you are. Is an ancient forest is a particular park, for example, dedicated to the memories of soldiers, is a place in which uh, there was something linked to the history, is a botanic park with a lot of plants and so on. For example, one oak, uh, pine forest, beech forest. It's important to explain the reason for which you have chosen that place. Second thing, you are not a guide. The guide for this experience is invisible. Um, you must accompany a process of slowing down and reconnecting to the natural dimension of those who participate in the first part of the experience. You can use this uh, word that is mentor. Mentor who is the master who Ulysses entrusts Telemachus, the son, before leaving for the Trojan War. Mentor. Okay, but it's something that uh, it's not a guide. It's not good that you guide the people that practice this experience. You must uh, do only the direction, then the people in self move. Okay. Uh, we enter in another world. A meeting point is indicated where one meets and gets to know each other, possibly with a contact, even if only visual, to send the look. Then, short presentation for those who want. We recommend the respect for silence in the value of listening. Let's start of the cell phones. We leave our work to enter another world. The next Perhaps it could be the necessity to pass to another place in which start the experience on forest batting compared to that of first meeting. So we invite the participants to identify a partner through an instinctive choice. Without thinking about it, or with a mechanism and trust to the case, for example, recording to a type of account in nursery ring after everyone has put themselves in a circle. A rhyme that might sound like this. If you want, we can 
make a circle now and we make a count. Okay, very simple. I'll take it with your listeners. So, uh, ask me if uh, somebody can uh, make a small synthesis about the. Uh, what you what? I don't the name. Ah, okay. it's forest, what? Forest? Forest by the way. Oh, by the way. Ah, so. Okay. 
Amazonica forest and border line of Ecuador and stayed there for two months uh, and uh, specifically one time he, he went to the uh, specific with the family who bought, who bought the land to protect the, the trees and uh, with the guys who make business with the trees and so on so they, they, bought, they bought the land and he went there with, with more uh, to, to friends, to yeah. persons, they are three and uh, he speak about all these uh, kind of colors and the insects, the, the smells in the Amazonic uh, ecstasy point of view with the beautiful to be inside of all that colors and uh, that rainbows and uh, also the, the talk about the, the river, Amazonic river and what I, what I felt it, it was this uh, kind of uh, to be something with, with a lot of colors and uh, all the, the animals and the flowers and the odors and, uh, and, uh, and everything is there and now it is, is very powerful. That I never seen before. That I never seen before. Yeah, all this you yeah. uh, <laughs> never seen before. <laughs> Spray mine, you say stop. So <laughs> next time. Next time. Next time. Another experiment uh, for introducing the first button is also to what we, we must work to imagine. To imagine uh, to be uh, an animal. Okay. So now I invite you to to imagine to be an animal. You can choose an animal. You can close your eyes for a minute and to imagine what is the animal that uh, you want to be. Uh, 
but in the same time you feel some uh, afraid uh, because uh, it's a little dangerous to, yes. to make if you are red, for example, it can be very dangerous. I think it's more or less. Yeah, more or less. I think. Thank you. <laughs> and and you? Yes, you are. I didn't think why, but I can tell what I thought. I thought about the panda. About what? Panda. 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 Yeah, I like it. Uh, he's kind of lazy. Uh, <laughs> and now, now I just remember that, like in Portugal, there's this um, a very well-known show, uh, the uh, kids show, uh, and the main character is a panda, and they sing a lot of songs. I'm since I'm a musician, I sing songs for children. I can relate to that. <laughs> you can move like a panda. You can move like a panda. Oh yeah, because they stay still. I never taste one So this is a, a experiment for for making it uh, introducing to the uh, one of kind of introducing. Then, so thank you. We can see now. Uh, so when we start the first body, we recommend looking around and finding a comfortable position, sitting or standing. Uh, I don't know what can I do when we start for a trip. Okay? okay, so you can choose to stay, <laughs> to sit or to stay. Once we have assumed a condition of stability, we ask to take root in that space, to do it in some way, to feel it as a home. So you must create a link with the place that you stay. It's very important. And we invite you to close your eyes and listen to the sound of things she said before uh, your name is Christina. Christina. She said before the sound that uh, she uh, had here in uh, the forest, no? Um, the sound of things around us. First those clues and then... Yes, I, I hear this uh, <laughs> sound, but... Can I shut the lights off to see if this noise is no, no, in principle, no. For 10, 15 minutes. Uh, it's very interesting because you enter in contact with the nature uh, through the, uh, the hearing. Okay? And um, when, uh, um, past, uh, when this time is passing, uh, the mentor, the mentor take uh, a signal like this and the people uh, come to the circle and uh, there is a restitution what they have uh, feel in the time of connecting with the hearing okay um, another invitation is uh, after hearing to touch Participants are encouraged to look around and carefully choose a space in which they feel comfortable. Once positioned, they are invited to close their eyes and begin an exploration of what surrounds them through touch, touching, deliberately, following the contour, the profile, imagining, imagining shapes, feel on the skin the sensation of light and shadow, of the wind or of your own breath. Explore and explore yourself. Perhaps even touch your face to understand what you are. For example, with the help of a, uh, with a stone or with a leaf. It's very interesting to close the eyes and to touch for try to 
to see how you are um, made in your profile, your, your skill. Uh, another kind of invitation is uh, this. Uh, here I am, together with you again, we raise your eyes to see the movement of the two leaves and clouds. We found the sacred hospitality of community trees. Now is the time to turn out looking to the heart and to its apparently most harsh and most silent parts. A stone, a small stone that can arouse a feeling, a rhythm, a meaning in you. Call it two of stones because they too here seem to seek community. You can go into the woods, explore and collect. Then you will join me when the time comes. There is uh, the recall. Now, with the stones in the hands, uh, let's put ourselves in a circle and build together whoever wants a sound. So with the stones, you can make uh, a rhythm. You can uh, put the, the stones in the earth, in the floor. You can make uh, um, something that uh, is uh, um, a sound, a collective sound. Everyone, there is a restitution with the stones. This uh, experiment is uh, made uh, with the, all the sense, okay, with the sight. For example, uh, you must uh, explore near a tree, uh, what can I say? Um, is uh, uh, the, the spider or uh, the ant, uh, the work of the ants, uh, the, the little animals, insects. So it's an experiment for having a recognition uh, through the senses with the nature. Uh, and then the, the final pass is to uh, have a condivision of uh, your experience in the forest uh, with the circle that you make uh, every way that you return with uh, for, for uh, giving the other to the other the, mm, the experience that you have made uh, with the sense uh, with the specific sense the sight the theory the touch also the, the taste uh, Smell. 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 smell, smell, yes, smell, because uh, it's, a, it's a complete experience. It's very interesting, very beautiful, and uh, the, about two hours for making this, uh, okay, and um, it's uh, a way that we are um, um, making uh, for young uh, people for uh, for others for every uh, age because uh, uh, also the people that is uh, the, the older people can uh, make this experience uh, in a forest without uh, uh, to be an excursionist uh, uh, someone that uh, is uh, uh, a, a trader or other is uh, a simple possibility to have uh, a connection with the nature uh, very simple, very easy, and uh, open to all. Uh, it's not simple to explain this uh, in this room, but I hope you will find the possibility to have this uh, experience because uh, I know uh, also in Portugal, also in Spain, uh, in all uh, Europe, uh, there are uh, groups that uh, move these uh, disciplines, and it's very interesting. And is some, something that uh, feels and uh, uh, take care to us. So uh, I hope you find this uh, experience, you, you try this experience. Thank you.